This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Pauline Joseph. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? I am good. It's Friday, so um, uh, I'm not typical. I have training in the morning, so I'm home. <laughs> That's wonderful. What type of training do you have? Uh, triathlon. I'm, I'm training for a half iron man. Ooh, sounds good. Sounds good. So what part of the world are you in right now? I'm in Trinidad, well, Trinidad, which is part of Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> yeah. We always have that, right? Like, I attempt to be like, well, where are you from? Well, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, but I'm in the Trinidad part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you usually get, well, are they the same? And you have to be like, nope. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole conversation starter. Like, okay, well, it's a twin island, but it's really a great pleasure to connect with you. Uh, rarely do I have uh, Trinidadians, Trinbagonians on the podcast. It's such a great pleasure to hear your accent in my ear you know <laughs> compared to uh not that the other accents are bad but i mean Trini is Trini, right? yes yeah. yes it feels good to hear it so tell us which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history uh i would say my extrovertness my push to uh connect with people because i i um i guess from since i was small i've always been the bossy one um <laughs> one of six so i've been able to get where i am because you know i just i want to get things done <laughs> yeah, get it done get it done uh who did you learn that from is there someone else in the family like that uh i think it's mostly my mom's side she's one of those persons that you know whatever happens she just bounces up and she goes again it's hmm, pretty cool why will you continue to be that person oh my gosh you can be uh uh, cross years can be on you you could be on target right for being that person that that stands up or stands her grounds uh, if you would why will you continue nevertheless because um i guess i'm seeing things and i have uh i guess a peripheral view of things and i and once i have the facts involved i just keep going you know um and i think once people see what I'm seeing, there's that validity. And then uh, I keep going because I, I try not to also focus on one thing because I realize when you are full 120% and you feel like that thing, your entire life falls apart where you have to have a bit of everything. Um, that's why I do triathlons. That's why I do sports. That's why, you know, I have hobbies because it's a balance. Yeah, it's pretty intriguing. You said try off the line. It's it's like the focus is required, but for a segment, it's everything is segmented. The focus is is there, but segmented. Is that accurate? Yeah, which is something that I guess that's why I'm. Gosh, you just gave me a revelation. I guess that's why I'm good at great at digital <laughs> digital marketing because it forces you to be good at at a lot of little things, um, and you have to definitely be disciplined with your time. Yeah, super cool. Love that. Now, for those that are listening, like, tell us some more about digital marketing and how you bring value to the marketplace. Well, within the Caribbean, well, I used to think the Caribbean was unique. <laughs> and our problems were um, a bit heavier than everywhere else. But the more I uh, interact with people, I realize it's a people problem. But the value comes from um, looking at your business and trying to identify what you're you're achieving and using digital to achieve those results because I think a lot of people are disconnected uh, from what their customers are actually doing. I mean, Carnival just ended um, Tuesday, two days of revelry on the road. And I was amazed at how people are so consumed on their phones. I mean, from a societal perspective, it's not the best, but from a marketing, it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's like they're in one place, right? They're in one place. Yeah. Well, I think we we'll, <laughs> we think we're all multitaskers, but we're not great at it. Hmm. Now, where's the best place for someone that's listening to connect with you? Um, LinkedIn. I am very active there. We actually just had our first LinkedIn local in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. So. Congratulations. Uh, that was a fantastic opportunity because we're the first in the Caribbean 
and I see an opportunity to go up the islands to do it. But yes, LinkedIn is the way to find me. That was wonderful. Congratulations on that. Love it, love it, Thank love you. it. Thank <laughs> so, you. So tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years. Uh, my business, because no matter what's happening up and down, you know, I had to walk away from it for a while because... I had to pay my bills. <laughs> um, and I'm also, I'm working in a, an environment, an industry that uh, values network more than anything else. So it's not been easy to keep at it, but I see where my business brings value that nobody else has. So I will continue at it because I know what we're doing is what the industry needs. Hmm. How does it make you feel? How does it make you feel to see uh, what you've done, uh, how people have interacted with it, and what's happening now from your evolving? Well, it's interesting. You know, people always say knowledge is power, but knowledge is also frustrating <laughs> because I've been in situations, I literally have been in a situation where I was trying to save an organization money and it didn't matter because they valued their relationships um, more than the actual work. So um, that's sort of a stepping stone in terms of the industry changing. But I have seen my clients, we actually, I'm actually reviewing a testimonial video right now with a global brand that basically said to us, because of us, they have been able to identify where the challenges are and work with it because the Caribbean is, we think, well, externally, it's a small place, but we have all these different cultures and to be able to speak to each island differently, we've been able to accomplish that. Which is huge, right? Which is a huge accomplishment, especially from an organizational behavioral standpoint. Yeah, because in the Caribbean, we always lumped under Latin America. I experienced that in Microsoft when I worked there and I would be in meetings and we were in Skype calls and they'd be like, oh, let's change over to English because Pauline has just joined the call. And because of that, you have a lot of these big brands um, who have not just language differences, but cultural differences. So they're relying on sort of, you know, the distributors and folks are not necessarily in the marketing field to understand what their brand needs to do, but not that's not necessarily their space. You know, that's where we come in to translate what their their business needs into digital. Hmm, that's super cool. Love it. All right, Pauline, <laughs> now, let's switch gears for a moment now. Let yes. me invite you, which not far from where you are, right, into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm blue Caribbean water. Pauline, what is your earliest childhood memory? Oh my gosh. I, I know it's weird. I don't know if it's because my mom told me it, but I have this visualization of me in the crib and this massive um, carnival truck is passing because I was born around carnival time. And literally the entire house would shake because this massive um, <laughs> truck was passing the house. <laughs> so you're in the crib, that is like our own wattage? I don't know. You know, I don't know if it was three, if it was one. I don't know if it was, you know, it's just like, I just remember that. <laughs> That's intriguing. Uh, how do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Well, I love my carnival, so maybe that's... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's influenced. Um, but also, I think um, not being sh like, you know, changing or shifting based on what everybody else is doing. Um, maybe I'm overreaching with that. <laughs> but um, I am not one of those persons that follow the crowd. I usually ask a lot of questions before I go chasing after anybody. <laughs> Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my oh mind? Oh, my gosh. Doc. Dr. Phil Moment. <laughs> we should hear we should hear like a ching or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love the fact that you said it, right? I'm gathering from your conversation. You said that uh, just being that individual who's able to see the different segments, right? I mean, in Carnival, oh my gosh, you have all the different uh, characters, right? And then you have individuals in costumes, right? Who are mm -hmm. playing based on what was created. But to be able, as you said again, to see that and segment it for wh where the value is, but then to have the conversation that combines it, so then it's communicated to other people. I mean, what more than digital media is... is, is is, is shown there for me in that story like wow like the color <laughs> right uh the 
the individuality, the uniqueness, the the rhythm, you know, just just pretty cool in my mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's also for me. I mean, obviously, growing up, you you have your question marks and and on who you are and who you're becoming. But as I get older and make mistakes and I realize I survived, I'm just like, hey, you know what? Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay to stand out. It's okay to be different. Um, it's okay to grow your natural hair because as a black woman, that is a thing that you have to accept. Mm-hmm. I know it's a journey. And just be okay with it. <laughs> it's weird to even say that. <laughs> keep chipping, right? Keep chipping until exactly, the next exactly. Yeah, yes, love it, love it. All right, we fast forward to when you were twelve. What was your favorite song? Oh my gosh! So I, although I was born in Trinidad, my mom's from Barbados, so I grew up in Barbados, and I was a huge Crossfire fan, and mm-hmm. probably still am. So anything that Edwin Yearwood was singing at the time, that was me. I don't know if you know of Edwin Yearwood because he's come got his on, dad. come I don't on, know, I don't know. That I don't one? You're playing on the spot, man. I get to see him perform live in Barbados. <laughs> I'll let you know. Uh, uh, yeah, so we went across there, yeah, and I saw him perform live. You know, in Person. that was somewhere around 2008 I remember yeah, like it was yesterday yeah that was my crush I was like oh my god it's Aaron Yearwood you know when you die here on one side I was like oh my god when I grow up I'm going to do that I didn't mm-hmm. do it but still <laughs> well, tell me one song that comes to mind so I could put that in there um, oh gosh pump me up with the music yeah. <laughs> that was the one that came to my mind too <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. Well, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're we're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Mm -hmm. Pauline? Yes. Pauline, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes. Are you married? No. Do you have children? No. Do you believe in God? No. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yeah. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? If I what, sorry? How about three hours a week? What on three hours? TV. Oh, no, no, no. I said no. No TV. No, yes. No, like no TV. So I started and I said, how about three hours a day, right? And you said right. no. And then I said, how about three hours a week? I don't order TV. Oh, cool. What about screen time? The food under the oh, computer? Gosh. Well, oh gosh. Well, gosh. That's excessive. <laughs> that's like a lot of hours. All right, all right. <laughs> Pauline, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Pauline Joseph, what would you say that is? Um, Pauline Joseph is someone who is influenced um, by her f- surroundings, but don't make decisions unless data is shown. <laughs> mm, love it. Well, you hear how she said that? That is always talking Trinidad, right? You hear what she said? <laughs> but do. That means don't, <laughs> but do. Right? That Thanks for translating. <laughs> Trini Palan. So, again, it's been a great pleasure, Paul. And before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Uh, I think if there's any entrepreneurs or folks who may be doubting themselves at this point in time, I think, I think we all just need to try because I, at the risk of being cliche right now, I learned to swim three years ago and it was the most life changing process of my life because I, I did it for a reason because I was learning to do triathlons, but everybody else goes, oh my gosh, you know, you're so fearless. And I, I laugh because I suffer from anxiety. I suffer from fear. But, you know, it's the secret is just to show up and just keep going regardless of your ego and whatever happening at the time. Um, you just... You just, you know, be like, what is it you find in Nemo? Just keep swimming, just literally. Keep swimming. <laughs> I, I like for the Trini, I like for the Trini, you know, the chipping. I just, I, I found that stuck out in our conversation, you know, just keep, just keep chipping. Yeah, you know. but I think you may have to explain what that means. Maybe so, yeah, it, again, <laughs> folks, yeah, I have to do a visual, but chipping is basically like you chip, 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 chipping on your chipping on your chip. So, yeah, we need to do a visual. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're, you're moving, you're walking one foot in front in but to music yes. basically yes. yes and you may have a drink in your hand as well but it's that's a whole other story music, and, <laughs> yeah. and it's like you're on your toes like you're about to fall but you, so you're just exactly. like yeah chipping yeah, yeah. and yeah, it's huge for carnival it's a, it's a huge it's like it's how you just get to the next you can't be running you can't run for carnival huh? you can't <laughs> run on you had a trip yeah 
love yeah, it. it that's, it's about the, the ones who last the longest. Because you imagine uh, we started at 8 and then finished till 11 in oh the night. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so you had to chip, you had to chip, you yeah. had to chip. Not for the feet at heart. <laughs> yeah, I mean, life is just like that. Pauline, this exactly. was such a great pleasure. Thanks for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you so much for having me. I truly appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pleasure, I treasure. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.